Caballeros que fuman. All right, boys. We are smoking the Tatuaje Tuxla Lomo de Cerdo. Ah, bueno. Lomo de Cerdo uh, translates to pork tenderloin. So, uh, as you can imagine, this is a, it, for like longtime Tatuaje fans, they will know the pork tenderloin. Mm-hmm. That was a highly sought after uh, limited edition back in 2010. And so this time, we have the pork tenderloin in Spanish, Lomo de Cerdo. It is a five and one eighth uh, by 52 Robusto. So a little like a Robusto extra, just a tiny bit extra. Uh, made it in uh, My Father's Cigars in Nicaragua, obviously where every tatuaje is made. The wrapper on this, unlike the pork tenderloin, which had a broadleaf wrapper, uh, Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, this one has a Mexican San Andres, hence the name Tuxla. Mm. Uh San Andres Tuxla comes from San Andres Tuxla, which is the name of the town. And uh, so the filler in the binder, Nicaraguan, $12 a stick. Uh, as I mentioned, it is an extension of that. I mean, I don't know if he's calling it an extension of the pork tenderloin, but it's obvious, right? Even the even the way that that the original pork tenderloin and this Lomo de Cerdo are packaged, yes. it's like a butcher. Yes, that's it the looks best like, part. Yeah, it looks like you've, you, you just went to the butcher and picked up, uh, you know, some pork. So, and that's what the cigar, so that's what the packet's it's like a 25 count bundle that's wrapped in butcher paper. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. And that way you can also fake it. If all of a sudden, you know, your significant other thinks you're buying too many cigars. No, I went to the shop. I went, I went to the butcher shop. See? And, yep. and, and, and in a very, very, very nice, you know, uh, humble, uh, sort of label, you know, band, you know, yeah. white and green with Tuxla and it, written and written on yeah, it. Yeah, tatuaje labels are typically, this is probably on the high end of luxury splashy, splashy. For, <laughs> for tatuaje labels. Colorful, at least. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, this that's that's uh, that's what we're working with here. It's the bundle of 25 is like 300 bucks. This is a limited edition, mm. just like the pork tenderloin. So it's about 300 bucks for a 25 count bundle. And we I've smoked a few of these. So far, so good. And uh, I, I'm a fan personally. Now, so, uh, but I'd, I'd like to get you you guys' thoughts on. Well, it. Be- before before that, the, I, I noticed that when I, when I when I cut the cigar, it had a little pigtail on it. Yeah, so it it is. It's uh, fashioned with a little tight pigtail at the top and a finished like or a covered foot. So if you noticed, you were lighting wrapper there when you were mm-hmm. first lighting the cigar. Tasted delicious. Yeah, just the, a wrapper, that little shaggy foot that, there. That just little tasted initial, awesome. yeah. yeah, right, super sweet and creamy and nice. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I don't know. You know, that's a topic for another show. How you feel about covered foots and shaggy foots and things like that. Uh, I I can go the rest of my days without another covered foot or shaggy foot or any of that. Like I don't. It, it's not for me. I don't love it. Well, I I, I end up with like little. You know, little bits of tobacco everywhere, ash, uh, after I light because, you know, it's not as compact. Yeah. Just, just like I have right in front of me, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I don't, you know, I, I'm not, the, sometimes if if we're doing it for for ratings or something really serious that I'm smoking a cigar or that guy's in front of me, I'll, I'll light it that way. But if I'm just smoking for pleasure, half the time I, I cut that off. Really? Yeah. You're it's a circumciser, just, huh? I am. <laughs> I'm a circumciser. That's a good um, way to put I it. like I it. it I, I like leaving it on there. You do? Yeah, it makes it easier to light, and and then you get that little bit of you know just yeah, just wrapper it's flavor. Just a fleeting it's... for one second, for one puff. Yeah, I would imagine like if if you're not, maybe you're a novice to the cigar world, and all of a sudden you see you're like, well, is this cigar okay? What what happened to the cigar here? Yeah, but what about the flavor notes? Right, initially, right, we just lit them, but uh, what are you guys getting? I'm getting way in the back, just a tiny bit of like spice, which is good. I like it. It's very, very muted. It's but it, but it's there. It almost tells me like maybe it's going to get spicier a little bit. I don't know, but I, I feel I, I way in the back there. Am I, am I getting that? Oh no, there's there's definite spice there for sure. Uh, I wouldn't call it muted though. I would call it balanced mm-hmm. because it's the balanced. yeah the spice is there, but the sweetness is there to to balance it out. Uh, there's the, there's earthy notes, but they're not overpoweringly earthy. There's pepper, but it's not over. I mean, it's really, to me, a really well-balanced. There's a lot there's, going there's, on. There's dark chocolate there. There's quite a bit of it for me. But again, still in balance. So I don't know. What, what about you, Ivan? It's 
I find it to be a typical like Pete Johnson like like product. It, it's always very complex. It has a you, lot what, of is flavor. That a good- Good thing. thing or bad Good thing. thing. Okay. I always get so many different flavors. And of course, looking for that balance, you know, where anything where it's not just a lot of like anything that's predominantly up in your face. Um I, I get like on this particular one, I get a lot of sweetness, especially coming out of straight out of the, the wrapper when I first lit it. And then the wood, uh like black pepper, and then I get like a like a bit of a licorice, like uh yeah, it's that's almost a good- like a, it's like a minty like pepper or something that's back way at back the end, there, way yeah. back there. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's that's a, a testament to, to Pete and and the folks at Tatuaje how there is so much going on, but yet nothing is overpowering the other sort of flavor or aroma or note. It's all it's all perfectly symmetrical, and that's that's an amazing thing to do. Yeah, and the uh, yeah, so obviously these cigars are made at my father's cigars by. Bing and Jaime and, mm-hmm. and their team, right? So everything that Tatuaje produces is made there. So you can't you can't leave them out of that, you know, kudos, right? Uh just I I loved it. I loved it the first couple times I smoked it. I smoked one last night. Uh I mean I just I'm I'm digging the cigar. Loving the tenderloin. I am. And you know, sometimes this is the so you know how most of the times like a company will say, Oh, we 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 have this small batch of cigars because we were able to get this tobacco that we can't use over and over and over, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Half the time it's just marketing. And then there then there's other times that it's real. And it feels real with this one. Cause this this has a complexity in the flavor profile that is hard to get in a regular production cigar. It's there, right? When you look at our cigars of the year, they have that complexity. That's why they win. But but that's hard to get to in a production cigar that you're going to make over and over and over and over. So this feels this feels like yeah, you were only able to make eight thousand bundles of this. Yeah, I'm gonna better believe I I bought a bundle. What I, what I feel and 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 you tell me if I'm off base here. Th- this almost feels like a me time cigar. This is this almost feels like a little time of quiet reflection, may, maybe some celebration. But this is just me time. You know, maybe whether I'm at the lounge or at the house, because there's so much happening here that you yeah, don't, you almost don't want to be too distracted with, you know, you know, having conversation. It just this is very like uh, self, you know, self time, you know, me time, re- reflection time. It, it's it's awesome, but I almost you almost don't want to share it with anybody. The 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 experience you're having with the cigar, not a golf cigar. For example, right. it's not one you're you're throwing down on the floor and not paying attention to and taking a shot. Yeah, I, and and I think I think what you're trying to say, Jim and, and Ivan, I think it's that every time you take the puff, every time you draw in the smoke, you kind of you savor it, right? Because it's so flavorful, and there's so much going on. I think that's what you're trying to say, and that's why you're like sort of hoarding that. But it's just that every puff has Mm -hmm. tons of stuff that you like and enjoy and none of the bad stuff that you don't like. And you almost don't want to miss anything that's happening, So that's why you don't want to use it on a golf course or you don't. However, it's a $12 cigar. It's a limited edition $12 cigar. And again, I have to say it because whenever we go over the top gushing on a product like we kind of are right now, I do want to say this is not paid for. Right, right. Not at all. Right, so... Uh, Pete Johnson at the moment isn't even an advertiser in the magazine, so I don't want anyone to think, "Oh my God, oh yeah, of course you're gushing, you're you're getting a cut of something." No, nothing, nothing. No, it's, this thing's good. We like the cigar. At, yeah. at least I do. I'm getting the experience. That that's what it is. It's so good, so good. All right, so we'll we'll, we'll check back on 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 our boy in, in a second. All right, thanks for watching the featured segment of the Cigar Snob Podcast. To watch the X's and O's segment, you can click here. And to watch the perfect pairing segment, you can click here. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to be updated on uh, the newest content that we drop. Follow us on social media, Cigar Snob Mag across the board. And go to the website, CigarSnob.com, and maybe join the mailing list. That's a good idea. Later.